Hi guys, we're at the marina today and we're going to do an install on the Motec MCM112 kit for a 450 Merc on a 28 foot XO. Well, let's have a look. All right, so step one, uh, we've got our 450 here on a 28 foot XO. We're going to do a changeover to the new MCM112. So step one, we're going to remove the plastic cover, exposing the ECU. Obviously we're making sure that the isolators are off, the key is off before we go removing the product. We've got three securing bolts here, eight millimeter socket required. And what we're going to do is once we pull this out, we're going to change over the spaces and then use the new cotton reel uh, spaces that you got in the kit. Okay, so pull down the stock ECU. We need to disconnect the connectors from the right. On the back of the connector here, there's a little tab, you push that down and that releases this clamp and allows you to kind of pull down to the right and unhook it. Next one here, so you see I'm pushing in with this finger here and with the next finger just pulling that clamp down and release and again just pushing that in and out it pops so if you want to have a look a little closer at that tab I was talking about here it is here All right so this clicks here and that little location tab here see it won't undo until we push down here and then pull that out like that Next job is to see there's two different variations of engines. One have an exposed um, threaded hole here for our knock sensor. This particular engine has it. If not, we're going to move the thread, move the earth straps from this bolt here to a neighboring bolt and then fit the knock sensor in that location. In this particular case, it's nice and easy. We just take our knock sensor with the bolt eight millimeter bolt screw that in a little bit of loctite if you're putting it on forever 13 mil socket on here move this around to about sort of three o'clock 330 next job is to install the new spaces you're doing a multi-engine installation at this point i would have a nice piece of tape perhaps on the back somewhere and write on inner port outer port starboard which ecu it is so we don't get it mixed up grab the accessory loom plug that in again starting this time on the far left install the connector middle Far right, bring across the uh, connector for the knock sensor, plug that on, offer up the ECU, kind of just making sure that the loom is out of the way for the knock sensor, grab your securing bolt. and nip them up. All right, this is the communication cable. Just kind of route it down here. If you're gonna make a nice job, perhaps run the ethernet communications through the umbilical here, and you can join that up and under there. But by this point now, it's ready to turn the key.